we invite uh, Mr. Shen Tan for the coin presentation. Introduction about Bitcoin. Uh, so you guys have already heard about how cryptocurrencies and blockchains are now being adopted by some companies, even startups are coming out with ICOs. So what we do as an exchange platform, straightforward. Instead of just you, you just making a transaction, now we are creating a trading platform for you to um, trade, make money, right? It's all a money market today, right? So for, for Bitcoin, we are fiat to crypto exchange, a centralized exchange as uh, Jack has already mentioned. Only centralized exchange can deal fiat to crypto. So we are a fiat to crypto exchange with an integrated digital payment solution. Okay, so I'll, I'll share a bit more about this with you later on. Okay, so Bitcoin is not a standalone company. We are actually an established company. We have done a number of businesses in the cryptocurrency space for more than a year now. So we started off with cryptocurrency mining and selling mining machines back in the days. We're mining about 50 to 70 Bitcoins on a daily basis. After that, we went on to do uh, cryptocurrency consulting. We built our own cryptocurrency private bank. If you saw up there, Big UN is our cryptocurrency private bank, which raised hundred million dollars last year. We also uh, did our own cryptocurrency, uh, our own blockchain. It's called Hit Chain. You can go on to check about it. It's a B two B chain, and we have two cryptocurrency exchanges. One of them is based in Hong Kong, and Bitcoin is our second exchange based in Singapore. Right. So we have eight offices around the world today. Okay, so uh, for Bitcoin, uh, we are already an established exchange for six months since our soft launch. It's already available on both web and mobile. You can actually trade your favorite cryptocurrencies uh, on our exchange. Uh, with a, our daily trading volume right now is about $30 million. And yeah, you can actually <coughs> trade uh, the major crypto as well as ICO tokens. Like recently we had listed Aston and Hex, which are all Korean ICOs. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin, uh, we are famous for being a fiat to crypto exchange, you can trade directly on exchange of US dollar, we do crypto to crypto as well, and if you are actually a whale, right, uh, you trade more than $200,000 in Bitcoins or any other cryptocurrencies, you can do all over the counter trading with us as well. Our platform has, is, is reliable, we are building bank grade trading uh, algos and, and uh, trading platform for you. Our security system has never been compromised. I understand if you see news, right? There are a lot of uh, early earlier stages exchanges who have been compromised because of poor security standards. So right now we haven't been compromised. Both of our exchanges, we have mobile trading live already, and uh, we are customer first. So if you are a trader in Singapore trying to get into cryptocurrencies, you can actually come down the street to the office and find us in person because we are all around the corner right now. Okay, so this is it. Uh, so Bitcoin is right now the preferred exchange in Singapore. We are within six months, right? We are already at the top of the charts and, and above and, and outperforming some of the older exchanges that's already been around since 2016. Okay, yeah, based on 13 assessment criteria that uh, IBS came up with. Now, um, education is something that uh, we feel that is lacking in the cryptocurrency space today. In the earlier days, you come in two years ago, right? A lot of people are just trading cryptocurrencies because of the hype. Like, uh, nobody knows the technology, everybody's just investing. So, right now, what we are doing is uh, we feel that we want to fill the gap. We bring in partners like Gopi and Jack, as well as people from Blockspace Asia, to come down and educate people about how blockchains and cryptocurrencies can potentially <coughs> change uh, the businesses as well as uh, the, finance, uh, the finance sectors. So we do a lot of education, we are not only doing in the office right here, we are also doing it in the colleges like SUSS, Singapore Management University and everywhere else, outside of the country as well. Uh, yeah, so we have been featured on a number of uh, popular publications like uh, Channel News Asia. We are there talking about why education is so important and uh, how we are participating in the education to make people uh, uh, improve their literacy in cryptocurrencies. Okay, so what is our value proposition for Bitcoin, right? Uh, we really want to make cryptocurrencies accessible to people. So without you having to go into technical terms, meaning understanding how blockchain actually works, we want to make the trading experience as simple as possible for you. Secondly, we are building our own wallet, our own wallet system using bank grid technologies. So uh, 
by Q1 uh, 2019, you'll be able to access a wallet like the way you access your bank cards today. And we try to become more than an exchange. Our end goal really is to have an all-rounded, all-encompassing trading experience or even a banking experience for you. So what we want to do is we want to become the financial institution of the cryptocurrency world. Uh, okay, so our slogan right now is trade, store, spam. We allow you to trade, store and spam all cryptocurrencies are uh, uh, ready and securely through our platforms in both web and mobile and our prepaid card. Okay, so as I already mentioned, trade you can already do mobile trading, trade fiat to cryptos, OTC trading on our platform. Yeah, so as I mentioned before, security is something a lot of people are, 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 are careful about today in the cryptocurrency world. How we are doing better than others is this. Firstly, we actually uh, have hardware security for all the funds. We follow the 80, the 90 10 rule today. 90% of all funds that saw the exchange is actually going to the hardware, uh, the, the whole wallet we call it, right? Whole wallet is where basically these funds are off the internet and there is no way you can access the private keys. And the only way to do so is to have three person logging in at the same time to access the funds. That's how we make sure that the funds are stored safely. Secondly will be uh, software security. How we actually make sure that our uh, hot wallet is actually secure from all hacking attempts is that for the 10% of funds there, we make sure that we actually have uh, competent white hack hackers that basically go in there to, to, to hack our system continuously to, and then produce reports about how uh, secure our trading platform is today. <coughs> Secondly, we make sure that the 10% funds that is actually stored on our trading exchange is actually insured. We give you the insurance and the guarantees that you're getting from your banks today. And finally, we have financial security. So we are, as I've mentioned, we do a lot of mining operations. We mine about 50, 70 bitcoins every day. We actually use our own bitcoins to provide enough liquidity into the exchange for a better trading experience for yourself. All right, uh, okay, this is our mobile wallet. So what happens is in the future, you won't be able to send money readily at uh, lightning speeds, uh, trading, I mean, sending crypto to crypto from one person's wallet to another via our wallet system. Okay, and yeah, our pilot test is happening in Malaysia. Okay, so Jack mentioned about how we're trying to introduce, uh, uh, how we're trying to bridge the gap about uh, fiat to crypto, right? So we are actually partnered with a listed company in Malaysia. Basically, they are an uh, uh, internet money payment provider. So what happens is now we are able to offer a, a prepaid card system on top of our exchange, powered by our exchange. Meaning, today you can actually spend your cryptocurrencies, you will liquidate it off our centralized exchange, and from there, <laughs> the fiat transactions will go through us into a prepaid debit card. And that is a master card. Meaning you can actually spend your cryptocurrencies from us. And we all know that 99% of all uh, merchants out there are all MasterCard or Visa enabled, right? So this gives us immediate uh, access to all these merchants out there and make your cryptocurrencies instantly spendable. Okay, yeah, so this is the founder of Epe, which is also our strategic advisor for us and uh, our strategic partner. Yeah, so if you do a simple competitive analysis of us against the major players, major exchanges around the world, you will see clearly that Binance, uh, they, they are another partner, another party that actually offers Fiat Gateway, but OTX and Hobby they don't offer any form of Fiat Gateways. Binance don't do any OTC services, not for the wills, and uh, they, they don't offer any form of a multi currency wallet or uh, payment solutions available today. Yeah, so our end goal is really to become like a financial institution. And yeah, this is the team. So we are an established team. We come from uh, more than 30, 40 years of uh, finance background. Uh, our founder has spent more than 25 years basically in all the big banks, DBS Bank, ABN Amro, yeah, you name it. Okay, so we have very strong foundation in these areas. We know how to run a finance business, how to build a successful fintech business. We have most of our operations, right? Our backend operations in China. So our architects are all in China, supporting all operations as a group level. And these are our advisors. Our advisors hail from big, big names like MP, Singapore Management University, IPP Financial Advisors, and we have even a smart contract 
experts like Paul Griffin himself and Leonard, who are people working in uh, consensus, right? Consen yeah, consensus, correct. Yeah, so these are our strategy partners, and we are also proud members to be uh, proud members of Access uh, Singapore FinTech Association and uh, Platinum Circle. Yeah, so this is more or less it about Bitcoin. Uh, so now we will go into the airdrop section, uh, which more more or less a lot of you are looking forward to.